Hey everybody, this is Dave Dugdale, LearningDSLRVideo.com. This is all about, not about color grading, but all about contrast and noise. I understand the more contrast you add, the more noise you get. So this exercise for me is learning how much when you add contrast back in, what happens to the noise. So what we've got here is we're comparing the neutral picture style, which I love. I keep coming back to it time and time again. Every time I've used a flat picture style, I come back to it. And I use it at a negative three. I don't use a negative four. I really like negative three a lot. So there's a thing that comes with the Technicolor Cine style, and it's called the LUT Buddy. I think you can get from the Magic Bolt Looks site for free, which is great. And I've tried it, but it's really either GPU or CPU intensive. So what I've done is I found other people. I think the one website is CM Imagery. Com. I'll put a link to it. But basically what they did is the LUT is basically an S-curve. And what they've done is along the S-curve, they deconstructed the LUT buddy from Magic Bullet Looks, found out the exact values along the S-curve, and recreated it in an RGB curve. And I'll show that to you now, what it looks like. And so basically what you do is you take this um, preset in Premiere Pro and you just drag it onto the the your clip and voila you've got the correct amount of contrast added back in. So let's go ahead and take a look. The first one up is the neutral picture style at a negative three and again like I said I really keep coming back to this one. I really love it for some reason. And The lighting situation I'm using here is really high contrast and black black shadows and I think this is where I'd use this particular picture style the most. The next up is the cine style at a negative four contrast without any LUT applied. And again, what you're looking for here is the right side of my face and looking kind of in the shadows. One of the things I noticed too is if you move your head around the monitor this way, depending on what kind of monitor you get, if you're a little bit off axis, you can actually see into the shadows a little bit better. So you might move your head around and to see what it looks like. All right, now we're gonna go back to the neutral picture style for reference. Now, after we've seen that, all right, let's switch to the cine style with the LUT applied. And again, what you want to look for here is looking in the shadows, looking on the right side of my face. All right, now let's go ahead and go back to the neutral picture style, but this time we're going to zoom in 400%. So what you're seeing here is a zoomed in version, not optically, but just in post. All right, now we're going to go and switch to the cine style again with the LUT applied at 400 and take a look at the the noise and take a look at how much you can see within the shadow okay again this has nothing to do with color grading this all has to be do about me learning about contrast and LUTs and noise so what I think I saw and you could correct me if I'm wrong but I think I saw that the neutral at a minus three had more information in the shadow, especially when you looked at the zoomed in 400%. Um, you guys could tell me what you think, but it looked like that. So again, I'm not doing color grading because I know you could change the curve and you could see more into the shadows and all that stuff and you can color grade. But in this real high contrast environment, which I think is what this cine style is meant for, um, you know, shooting at night in you know, low light, high contrast situations, um, I don't think I'd use the cine style during the daylight or um, to be honest because most of the time I'd rather get it right in the camera first than have to do a whole bunch of things in post, especially if it's adding noise. Um, also, I want to thank Kevin over at Wide Open Tees and I'll put a link to his website. Uh, he sent me a couple of uh, t-shirts to take a look at and the quality looks pretty good. It feels pretty nice. I haven't washed it yet so I don't know. but. It's definitely the right size for me. Um, and he's got a promo code of Dave D. If you want to get 10% off your order, check him out. Um, I'll let you know how these wash out, but I'm sure they'll be fine uh, if you're into these kind of geeky uh, photography shirts. All right, talk to you guys later. Bye.